Jesus, we worship your name. We exalt you, Jesus. Una staili kuabudi wa bana. Una staili kupewa sifa yawe. You are worthy of all the glory, Jesus. You are worthy of all the glory, Lord. You are worthy of all the glory, Jesus. You are worthy of all the glory, Jesus. You are worthy of all the glory, Lord. You are worthy of all the adoration, Jesus. Una staili yesu kuabudiwa. Una staili yesu kupewa sifa. Una staili yesu kusujudiwa. There is none else like you, Jesus. There is none else like you, O oh God. We exalt you, Jesus. We exalt and we worship your name. Shakara la boze katala boyanda. Rikara la 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 boze kayanda la la bo. Oh, rikayanda la 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 bo. Shekanda la 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 bo. Zikata la boyanda. Rikanda la 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 bo. Zikata la boyanda. You deserve all the glory, Jesus. Shakara la 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 bo. Zikata la boyanda. Rikanda la 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 bo. Jesus, we exalt your name because you deserve it, oh God. You deserve all the adoration this morning. You deserve all the glory, oh God. You deserve all the honor, Jesus. You deserve to be adored, oh God. You alone are the King of kings. You alone are the Lord of lords. Besides you, there is no other. Besides you, there is no other, oh God. You alone are God. You alone are God. You are the creator of heaven and earth. You are the creator of heaven and earth and all that is therein. We worship you because God, there is none like you, Jesus. Besides you, there is no other, Lord. We worship your name, Jesus. You deserve all the adoration, oh God. You deserve all the glory, Jesus. You deserve all the praise, oh God. Oh, Jesus, you are worth it is all the glory to you.
believe you have had a good time to meditate upon the word of the Lord and not just to meditate upon the word of the Lord but to have time to pray that we can have that word work in our lives and this afternoon we are blessed again to have the servant of the Lord our own Reverend Martin with us he is continuing on to break to break the bread for us and I believe that even in this afternoon God has a word for me and a word for you. I encourage you to just open your heart, open your mouth wide that the Lord can feel it, and let the Lord continue to lift us from one level to another. It's a sure thing that God is calling us to that, to that place of being with Him, calling us back, back to the place of intimacy, a place of fellowship with Him, a place where we can commune with Him and hear His voice, even as he ministers to us. So I want to to request all of us to stand up as we welcome Reverend Martin to continue on with the word. And thank you so much, Reverend. You are a blessing to us. We appreciate you. We honor God for you. Karibu sana. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, thank you. Thank God uh, this uh, afternoon for the Lord is with us. I know that he's going to continue to bless us. Inaendelea kumshukuru Mungu kwa nafasi na wakati huu ili tuweze kukutana tena mwaka mwingine katika conference yetu ya Maseno a prayer conference. I believe kwamba Mungu amekubariki sana kupitia watumishi wa Mungu ambao wamenena mbeleni na ataendelea kutubariki. Kweli mwa mambo ni kwamba chochote ambacho Mungu alikuwa apangia kufanya katika uh, conference hii hakuna kitu ambacho hatafanya usi usi usidharau ama usichukulie kwa urahisi kwamba hatukuweza kukongamana life ule maseno na labda uone ya kwamba labda hitaji lako labda mujiza wako labda kile ambacho ulikuwa umepanga Mungu akafanye labda hakitafanyika usione vile kwa sababu we worship and we, we believe in a god ambaye huwa sio limited kwa kwa kwa, kwa wak, watu wako wapi na ubali gani yeye ni Mungu ambaye aweza kufanya zaidi ya vile tunaweza omba atakuamini kwa hivyo endelea kuamini Mungu ya kwamba tegemeo lako na ombi lako na hitaji lako baba wetu na Mungu ataweza kukutana nalo uh, katika mikutano hii uh, this um, afternoon i want us to share the word from the book of luke uh, the gospel of luke chapter number 11 we are going to read from chapter verse number 5 we, we just need a few verses and then, then we'll allow the holy spirit of god uh, to communicate to us uh, this afternoon and our good Lord is going to bless us in a mighty way Amen Okay And he said to them I'm reading from uh, chapter number 11 uh, verse 5 and he said unto them which one of you shall have a friend and go to him at midnight and say to him friend let me three loaves uh, loaves for a friend of mine has come to me on his journey and I have nothing to set before him. And he will answer from within and say, Don't trouble me, for the door is now shut. My children are with me in bed. I cannot lie and give to you. I say to you, though he will not lie up and give to him because he is his friend, yet because of his persistence, he will lie and give him as many as he needs so I say to you ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find knock it will be opened to you for everyone who knocks ask receives and he who seeks find and him who knocks it will be opened to be opened amen I think those are enough verses to help us to have a foundation of what the Lord has for us this afternoon. 
um, I want to, to, to we share together uh, mambo ambayo nimewezeshwa na Mungu kuyaita the cop the comp component of true intercession uh, mambo yale ambayo yanaonekana katika uombezi wa kweli at the components of true intercession now i believe because the holy ghost is with us and the presence of the lord is hovering here and he is with us he is going to lead us into all truth of the word so that we may be uh, encouraged we may be built up uh, so that we may be able to go to the other level as the lord desire okay now jesus has just finished talking about the Lord's prayer uh, ukipanda mistari iliyo pale mbele alikuwa tayari amewanenea wanafunzi wake uh, mpangilio wa maombi uh, the Lord's prayer na kawaonyesha uh, how they are supposed to pray na ukiangalia kila wakati Yesu alitanja maombi alisema ya kwamba mnapoomba um, mnapoomba when you pray he never said if you pray ah uh, kwa sababu ah uh, mpango wa Mungu ni kwamba atue uh, watu ambao ni watu wa maombi ni watu wa maombi ah uh, bingu kila wakati huwa inangojea huwa imefunguka kwa yoyote ambaye ata, ataweza kumwitia baba na aweze kuomba uh, na dipo unakutea kwamba uh, Yesu alitilia mkazo sana maombi na sana sana uh, maombi ya uombezi ndio tunaita intercessory prayer alitia mkazo sana katika yale maombi uh, ukiangalia katika uh, kile kitabu cha Luka mtakatifu mlango wake wa 18 uh, Yesu anasema ya kwamba men out to pray and not to faint yani kwamba wanadamu ama watu wanatakiwa waombe bila kusita na pia pale katika mlango wa 18 wa Luka mtakatifu akapeana mfano mwingine wa vile tunatakiwa kuwa watu ambao ni waombezi kwa hivyo the, 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 the heart of it, the message here ni kuwa waombezi watu ambao wamekatalia katika maombi sana sana nyakati hizi tukielewa the time that we are living in i think we need to evaluate our prayer life na ili tuhakikishe tuhakikishe kwamba tumeongezea kia ingine katika uh, maombi yetu Yesu mwenyewe wakati alikuwa na mwili alikuwa muombezi alikuwa anaomba ukiangalia katika wahibrania tano i think uh, we can be given that verse uh, hebrews 5 uh, to tumuone yesu nyakati zake za mwili wakati alikuwa na mwili uh, uh, kama mimi na wewe yeye alikuwa muombezi uh, biblia inasema for every high priest uh, taken from among men is appointed for men in the things pertaining to God that he may offer both gifts and sacrifice uh, and to delay mm -hmm. um, I want to uh, give us uh, verse number 7 give us verse number 7 so that you may okay let's read verse number 7 in asema who in the days of his flesh when he had offered a prayer and supplication with vehement cries and tears to him who was able to save him from death and was hard because of his godly fear huyo ni Yesu wakati alikuwa na mwili kile ninataka tuone katika yale maandiko biblia inasema ya kwamba he offered prayer and supplication yani aliweza kuomba aliweza kutoa maombi uh, kwa Mungu na sio maombi tu uh, Biblia inasema ya kwamba fervent prayer yani ni maombi ya kidani ambayo aliyatoa kwa kilio
hiyo na machozi haleluya yani uh, hii verse inatuelezea na inatutolea picha sawa sawa ya aina ya maombi ambayo Yesu alikuwa anaomba Biblia inatuambia ya kwamba alikuwa anawaacha wanafunzi wake anaenda kando mlimani kabla ya kupambazuke na anaenda na anaomba aidio aina ya maombi ambayo alikuwa anaomba unajua katika biblia uh, pale ambapo tumepewa picha kidogo ya vile Yesu alikuwa anaomba ni pale katika shaba la kidesemane mahali ambapo kabra aende msarabani aliweza kuomba na tukaona ya kwamba akaomba maombi ya kindani akaomba maombi ambayo yalifanya atokwe na jasho iliyomwagika kama matone ya damu yani tunaona ya kwamba Yesu aliomba na moyo Yesu aliomba na kilio Yesu aliomba na mao na, na machozi haleluya and so whenever god sees an intercessor kwa sababu biblia inasema ya kwamba even today siku ya leo katika waibilania saba uh, 25 inasema ya kwamba even now he lives to intercede for us yani yeye kristo hakuacha uombezi wakati aliondoka hata saa hii akiwa mbinguni kwenye kiti cha enzi mkono wa kulia wa Mungu Baba he is still interceding for us so jesus the king of king he is still an intercessor for the church and for the world hallelujah na ndipo uh, kile tunasema hapa ni kwamba uh, wakati bingu inaona muombezi inafunguka yani any person ambaye is an intercessor wakati ameanza kuomba ana capture attention ya binguni kwa sababu pale binguni kuna yule ambaye ni muombezi wetu naye ni Kristo so any time the church inaingia katika maombi ya intercessory kanisa inaanza kuomba kwa nguvu inaanza kuomba maombi ambayo sio ya kukoma maombi ambayo sio ya leo na kesho inaacha lakini ni maombi ambayo inafuatana inasukuma mpaka inapata jawabu wakati kanisa ama an individual ameanza kuomba aina ile ya maombi ana capture attention ya mbinguni kwa sababu intercessory is the heart of Jesus he is an intercessor na wakati anaona another one like him akiomba duniani hapa roho ya Kristo na roho ya muombezi huyu zinashikana na heaven ama bingu ina capture attention ya huyu muombezi can the church say amen can the church say hallelujah amen okay now in the text that we have read tumeona Yesu anatoa mfano akiendelea kusukumia vile tunatakiwa kuomba na katika haya yale maandiko kwa 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 kifupi na kwa neema ambapo Mungu atanikirimia nitaenda moja kwa moja tukiangalia vipengee ambazo zimejitoa kwenye lile somo jambo la kwanza tunalo liona ni kwamba rafiki alimjia rafiki yake kwa majira ya usiku yani shida iliyotokea ni wakati wa usiku alifika usiku wa manane alikufika wakati giza imeshikana na ningependa kusema siku ya leo ya kwamba the true intercessors are known at night wanajulikana wakati giza imetokea kwa sababu o oh, hawalali we o oh, hawali ya kwamba uh, wa, wa, wamelala wakati shida imetokea o oh, huamuka na wanaanza kupambana nayo katika maombi huyu mtu 
neno la Mungu linasema hakumpa visa babu rafiki yake hakumwambia wewe ndiye umekuja usiku lakini alijua ya kwamba hii ni jambo limenijia wakati wa usiku and i want to say today wakati huu ambapo giza sasa imeinuka kama vile Isaya alisema kwamba na giza itafunika dunia na giza totoro itafika dunia mzima when the darkness is raining hiyo ndio wakati ambapo nao waombezi wanainuka intercessors are known during the dark times kwa sababu wakati ule ndio wanaamuka ndio wanasimama when men slept intercessors don't sleep angalia Yesu Yesu wakati ambapo Isaa lile la giza kubwa ya maisha yake iliweza kumujia ilimpata katika maombi katika pale katika shamba la kidesemane kulikuwa usiku bado hakukuwa kumepambazuka wakati Judasi walikuja na wale makaka wa hekaru na askari waliokuja kumshika Yesu lakini walikuta mtu ambaye ako kwa magoti walikuta mtu ambaye ametoka katika presence ya Mungu na yeye hakuwaogopa yeye hakutishwa kwa sababu walimkuta katika magoti akiweza kumuitia Bwana so church wakati huu ambapo mambo yamebadilika giza imeanza kufunika dunia giza imeanza hata kujia kanisa la Kristo this is the time for the intercessors to arise this is the time for those who are called in the ministry of intercession kanisa lazima tuinuke na tukaweze kuomba angalia kanisa la mitume wakati walinukia na wakaanza kuteswa Yakobo akachitwa na Herode akauawa Stefano akapigwa na mawe na kanisa likawa ikawa limekuwa adui wa taifa Biblia inasema ya kwamba hawa wapendwa hawakuita na press conference ili waweze kusema vile wameinukiwa na vile wanaendewa vibaya but the bible says kanisa iliomba kwa nguvu kanisa iliomba bila kukoma wakati petero alishikwa ili naye achitwe kama yakobo biblia inasema ya kwamba wao wapendwa walikutanika na wakaomba bila kusita they continued in prayer for peter mpaka mungu akaingilia na ningependa kusema kwa kanisa siku ya leo mambo yale tunayaona na tunaona ni kama kanisa laonewa tunaona ni kama mambo haiko na mpango mwema kwa kanisa nataka kunenea kanisa na kuambia ya kwamba usio wakati wa kukomplain usio wakati wa kutoa maneno ya kurushania na viongozi but this is the time for the church to pray kwa sababu kanisa lazimama wakati wa giza the church is known wakati wote kanisa ishawaijikuta na wakati mgumu kanisa haikuzimika angalia kanisa wakati ilikuwa kule misri wakati Musa alikuwa nazaliwa biblia inasema ya kwamba waliteswa wale wapendwa wakatezwa na makaburo ambao walikuwa wanawafanyisa kazi pale Misri wakachukua watoto wao wakawatia katika mot katika mto Nile ili wakuliwe na mamba but the bible says vile waliendelea kuwatesa kanisa ikapanuka waliendelea kusaana waliendelea kuongezeka angalia ile DNA ilienda ikaingia hata kwenye kanisa la kwanza wakati waliteswa kanisa haikuzimika kwa sababu hawa watu walikuwa na DNA ya kuongezeka hawangezimwa hawa, hakuna kitu kingeweza 
kuwafunika na ni kwa nini walijua siri ya maombi intercessors arise when it is at, uh, at night wakati giza imetokea ndipo wanaomba sana jambo la pili huyu rafiki alijua ya kwamba ana rafiki mwingine ambaye hakosaki mikate alijua yeye anaweza kosa mkate lakini alikuwa na revelation alikuwa na kujua kwamba ana rafiki ambaye hakosangi mikate na biblia inasema ya kwamba akamwendea akamwendea wapendwa maombi ambayo iko na nguvu ni maombi ambayo inatokana na revelation yani unakuta ya kwamba tuko na kujua na ndipo tunaomba we know another reason why we pray we go to god kwa sababu tunajua kama vile wahibrania inasema amwendeae mungu katika wahibrania 11:6 amwendeae mungu lazima aamini kwamba mungu ako na yeye ni mungu ambaye analipa thawabu wale ambao wanamtafuta na, na nguvu wale ambao wanamwendea anawalipa thawabu Hebrews 11:6 na kwa hivyo kile kinamfanya huyo mtu aweze kutoka kwa rafiki yake aweze kutoka pale akamtafutia rafiki yake mkate ni kwa sababu alikuwa na kuamini ya kwamba amwendeae rafiki yule mwingine hata kosa alikuwa amehimizika alikuwa amesikika ndani yake ya kwamba kuna kitu kitatendeka I want to tell the church our God still reigns our God is still there he is a God who answers prayer ni Mungu ambaye ajibu maombi ajibu maombi kwa hivyo tuendeae kwake sio kujaribu sio kujaribu sio kuangalia kama atafanya huyu rafiki hake riski maisha yake usiku akaende mahali ambapo anajua hatapata kwa hivyo haikuwa bahati na nasibu alikuwa anaenda akijua ya kwamba i have a friend who will not turn me away i have a friend who when he open that door atanipatia mikate ile yote nitataka this is the knowing that we need to have church angalia mtu wa Mungu Ayubu Ayubu ukisoma katika Ayubu mlango wake wa 19 mararamiko ya Ayubu yamejaa kwenye ule mlango anaongea vile marafiki wamemtenga vile vile mke wake hata ye hako pamoja na ye watumishi wake anawaita wakuji Ayubu anaonekana ni kama ako peke yake But the Bible says if you go to verse number 25 after Job have co- continued with his complaint verse 25 anasema ya kwamba for I know that my redeemer lives and he shall stand at the last day on the earth yani kile kilimweka awe na nguvu kile kilifanya ayubu asi asi asipondwe na asiangushwe na asikaliwe na shinda ambazo zilikuwa zimemujia ni kwa sababu kuna kitu alijua he is saying above all i know haleluya kubarikiwa ni muombezi ambaye aenda kwa Mungu akiwa na revelation ya kwamba god knows amen kwa hivyo Thank you Jesus. Kwa hivyo we need to know and this knowing is the knowing of faith that God is there and he answers prayer. So alitoka kwake huyu akamwendea rafiki. Church I want to tell you that what a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. Kwamba tukimwendea hatutarudi mkono mtupu 
mwendea hatutarudi this is the heart of intercessory having a knowledge that we have a god hallelujah number 3 alikuwa na moyo wa utu an intercessor ni mtu ambaye ana moyo wa utu yani unakuta ya kwamba hawezi akalala na rafiki akiwa na jaa na ni usiku akimwambia fi sababu amwambia wewe ndio umekuja usiku ulichelewa wapi sasa elewa ya kwamba mimi na, na watoto na mke wangu hapa tumekula chakula imeisha wewe fumilia lala tunajaa kesho kikipa bazuka tutakushughulikia angempa sababu lakini anitasesa ako na moyo wa utu ako na ile compassion akaona hapana rafiki yangu ametembea safari ame, ame alitoka bali amekuja usiku anajaa siwezi nikamruhusu akalale wapendwa this is the heart of true intercession compassion angalia yesu ikiwa kuna kitu kilimsukuma yesu ni kuwa na compassion neno la Mungu linasema ya kwamba mara nyingi alitazama umati na akaona ni watu ambao wamekaa kodo ambao hawana ha, ha, hawana ha, hawana mchungaji na akawa na compassion kwa wao akawaponya aka aka akawaendea maneno ya kuwa fariji akatenda miujiza wakakula mikate kwa sababu he is a compassionate god yeye ako na utu yeye ako na moyo wa, 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 wa kufsikia uchungu wa wengine this is the heart of intercessory wakati ambapo tunaangalia dunia hii na tunaangalia mambo yale yanatendeka an intercessor muombezi hachukuri mambo yale kikawaida anaona ya kwamba yale yanatendeka haitakiwi kuwa inatendeka na anaanza kuwa na uchungu anaanza kuwa na na kilio katika moyo wake afanye nini ili kuwe na mabadiliko haangalii tu hajipatii sababu hachukuri shida ambazo ziko kwenye dunia kama ni kawaida amen so we need that heart compassion is the heart of god and it is the body priest of true intercession wakati ambapo shida za watu tukiona vile watu wamelemewa vile tunaona nchi yetu haiendi sawa sawa politically economically na unakute ya kwamba hata kwa kanisa kanisa la kristo iko na upungufu watu wale ambao ni waombezi wa kweli hawatatazama na wakae watashikwa na kilio ndani yao na waanze kusema this is not the way things are, are, are supposed to be na watakuwa compassionate watakuwa na moyo wa kuanza kuomba na kuanza kumuitia bwana praise jesus so when we are compassionate we capture the attention of god kwa sababu god is compassionate yani mungu ni mungu amejawa na rehema ni mungu ambaye amejawa na moyo wa rehema kwa watu wake wakati anaona moyo ambao uko na rehema kama yeye naye anashuka na kutenda mambo roho yako na yake zinashikana so church let the burden of others become our burden let the issues of our nation become our issues the issues of our town the issues of our village the issues of our neighbors the ministry and the church shinda ambazo ziko pale tusikatwike katika mapega yetu na tukazibebe katika uwepo wa Mungu the high priest kile ambacho alikuwa nacho ni kwamba alikuwa katika kifua chake anabeba uh, ile 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 effort ilikuwa hapa kwa kifua ime imechorwa majina yote ya wana wa Israeli ala 
alafu kwa mabega yake anawekwa sita kwa bega hili na sita kwa bega hili lingine kwa hivyo wakati anaenda mbele za Mungu aliwabeba wana wa Israeli katika moyo wake na katika mabega yake walikuwa mzigo kwake akawabebe in the presence of God today church we are the high priest of the new covenant kama vile biblia inatuambia katika petero kwamba tumefanyika taifa la makuhani so if we are true high priest ikiwa sisi ni, 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 ni makuhani wa kweli basi tutabemba mizigo na mabega yetu number four intercessors are riskers awani watu ambao uhatarisha wanahatarisha maisha yao wanahatarisha mambo yao kwa ajili ya wengine tazama huyu rafiki ni usiku wa manane giza imeshikana na ni kubaya kwa sababu hakuna giza ambayo haina hatari zake lakini haogopi kuna msukumo ulio moyoni wake ambayo unamsukuma zaidi ya hatari zilizo nje kwa hivyo ana risk maisha yake kwa wengine ana risk maisha yake kwa rafiki yake so uh, wale ambao wanahitimu na wanapata ushindi na breakthrough katika level hii ya uombezi ni watu ambao they know how to risk ni watu ambao wanajitoa kwa wengine tazama Danieli Danieli yani agizo la mfalme linatokea na kuna semekana ya kwamba kwa wakati fulani mfalme peke yake ndiye ataomba watu watamuomba kama Mungu na Danieli anajua hivyo ndivyo imesemekana na akajua ya kwamba hatari iliyoko ni kwamba atakaye kosa kuti atatupwa kwenye shimo la siba alijua Danieli alijua hayo ndio maagizo ya mfalme lakini tazama katika maandiko Biblia inasema ya kwamba siku ile ile ile, ile tu hiyo akizo lilitokea Danieli alienda nyumbani kwake na kama ilivyokuwa tabia yake akafungua madirisha ya kwake yakielekea Yerusalemu na akaomba mara tatu kwa siku akaelisk maisha yake lakini aombe taifa lao lililokuwa kwenye utumwa aliombe haleluya these are the true intercessors they risk their lives for the others amen so intercessors sio watu ambao wanakuwa na sifa njema katika ufalme wa giza shetani hapendi waombezi anajua kazi baya ambao wanamfanyia anajua vile wanafuruga mipango yake anajua vile wanakatiza program zake so they are marked for attack they are always marked for attack intercessors are those people who are always in the wanted list of the devil kwa hivyo sio kazi ambayo ni ya furaha sana is a risky business na wale watu ambao wameamua kujitoa na kujiingiza katika uombezi wa ndani uombezi wa ndani wanakuwa na encounter with the evil forces of darkness kwa sababu wanasabaratisha mipango yao angalia danieli wakati alikuwa anaomba the power of darkness of apashia pia iliinuka ikapinge maombi ya danieli so the evil forces the territorial spirit arises wakati tunaanza kuombea kenya wakati tunaanza kuombea kanisa yale mapepo na mausultani ya ya ya, ya giza ambayo iko territorial 
kwa nchi yetu kwa makanisa yani unakuta ya kwamba they rise up they start the system they start opposing hallelujah so we need to also when we are praying when we are in the intercessory we have to learn to cover one another we have to learn to cover one another if you know uko wengine unaomba pamoja na wao ni vizuri ya kwamba as we pray as we pray as we go deeper into prayer we need to learn how to cover one another kama askari wakiwa vitani they not only concentrate with the enemy but they know how to to cover one another they know how to cover one another in the battlefield tuko na wapendwa walio kwa mistari ya mbele katika maombi ambao wanaongoza movement za maombi kama hii tunatakiwa tujue ya kwamba they are always targets to the devil and so church we should not only fight the enemy but we should learn to cover one another in the battlefield kwa sababu intercessory is a risk business time may not allow me to read a second Samuel 23 and verse number 14 pale ambapo Daudi ako kwenye pango na Daudi anasema ya kwamba nani atanipatia maji ya kisima kile cha Bethlehem na Biblia inasema ya kwamba wanaume watatu wakatokea waka break through wakaenda wakachota maji na unajua ya kwamba walipitia katikati ya kikosi cha Wafilisti so that is very very important we need people who will risk for the church the church is so vast there is no water of revival we need men who can break through number 5 intercessors ni watu ambao hawana mwingine isipokuwa tu ni Mungu yani nakuta ya kwamba huwezi ukawaambia wamwende mwingine huyu dugu anaambua na yule rafiki yake tumelala na watoto emenda uh, kwa sababu sasa nimelala sitaamuka hawezi akatoka pale hana plani b yani ni mungu na iwe ni mungu amen number 6 intercessors never give up hawafi moyo hawafi moyo wakisikia ni kama inasemekana ni no au wanasema uh, no to us is the day kwa wao it is and to them it is not denial wanakubali ya kwamba the issue at hand is difficult but it is not impossible difficult yes but impossible no that is their motto and so they will press on they will keep on keeping on until they get the price of intercession if you read need look 18 verse number 7 and number 8 the bible says they are kwamba atawalipishia watu wake atalipishia watu wake ataikawa atakuwa amewaweka kwa muda atawalipishia and this is what i want to say to the church kwamba we don't need to give up intercession prayer for the church and revival should continue the intercession for the for our country must continue without ceasing tusifujike moyo wacha tuendelee naye Mungu atatuonekania basi najua ya kwamba kwa wakati wako na kwa mwongozo wa Roho Mtakatifu utayatazama yale maandiko vizuri uenende kipengee na kingine na utaona yale Yesu alitaka kuhudumu ama kufika kufikishania kwa kanisa kupitia somo hili Bwana akawabariki akawatende mema neno lake liwe ndani yenu na likazae mazao ya kudumu kwa utukufu wa jina la baba wetu wacha tuombe na tutaendelea afternoon ya leo ili tuweze tutaendelea jioni na Mungu ataweza kutubariki can we pray father god almighty katika jina la kristo yesu asante kwa neno lako twajua ya kwamba umetuita katika maisha ya maombi sana sana nyakati hizi toomba katika jina la yesu utainua askari wengi ambao watasikia ujumbe huu bamba utaingia katika maisha yao
na utaleta mabadiliko ya kudumu ili kanisa isifunikwe na giza lakini likasimame na litakatangaze kwamba wewe ni Mungu twakushukuru na twakuabudu kwa maana umesikia nasi tumeamini ya kwamba wewe baba umetenda tuendelee hapo jioni ya leo baba endelea kuwa nasi katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na tumeamini amen Tu tu na kusifu Mungu wetu tuangu